When XCOM Command receives reports of strange events in a fishing village in Newfoundland, the XCOM squad members prepare for a trip to the second greatest country on Earth, Canada. Major Frost, eager to try out his new genetically enhanced memetic skin, is joined by Captains Ryan, freshly released from sickbay, Turner and Neary, and Lieutenants Hanrahan and Oman. The landing zone is covered in threat-concealing warehouses, but it's not long before Aerosol uncovers just how bad this mission might be. One, which means the chrysalids aren't far behind. With the threat of chrysalids on the cold air, everyone acts fast, blasting the first zombie through a window, and shredding the second in a hail of fire. Bob spots another zombie shambling in the distance. Gar shoots from high ground. Ray follows up, but Claire earns the kill. Sharpstick continues to uncover trouble, this time in the form of a pair of chrysalids. But he punches one into oblivion and Frosty's rapid shotgun action eliminates the second. Chrysalids start popping up everywhere, so Lynn takes a nesting place and camps out for the mission. Gar misses. Liam's mimetic skin looks awesome, but the chrysalid still comes for him, taking some damage and dealing some back. An angered Frosty finishes this threat off before Lynn, Gar and Claire team up to drop a zombie. Aerosol heals Frosty and everyone takes a moment to reload before making the push onto a wrecked fishing vessel. While that ship is sure to contain some secrets, for now it's the docks that seem to be populated with chrysalids. Longshot and Sharpstick team up to take one out. While Gar, Ray and Liam all plug the second. A camouflaged Liam moves forward and gets a view at a whale of an incubator. And the squad is given a new objective to sterilize the area. Sharpstick rockets directly onto the deck of the ship and gets into the bridge, while Gar takes a shot at a newborn crystal. Overwatch all around puts the squad in a prime state to deal with the advancing menace, though once again, it's Longshot's incredible aim that cleans everything up. When Sharpstick hits the transponder, the squad are put on a clock, and our mech decides to throw caution to the wind and sprint back to his teammates. A new arrival thinks he's gotten lucky, until he rounds the corner, and Frosty and Longshot show him a warm welcome. Everyone starts to sprint back to the extraction zone, as more baby monsters appear in the ship's hold. Claire and Lynn get surprised by one that's a bit too close for comfort. But Gunwench finishes it off before the sprint resumes. Frosty's camouflage means one chrysalid doesn't see him until it's too late. And Sharpstick kills another as even more start to swarm toward the squad. 
At this point, the whole squad is in full sprint mode. But when one chrysalid manages to just catch up to Frosty, our team captain heroically blasts him before racing away into the warehouses. Claire follows Frosty, Bob pauses long enough to punch a chrysalid, and certain that everyone else is back at the extraction zone, the team mech runs for home. High Command congratulate the team on a successful mission back at base, secretly confiding in me that they would have considered anything up to three squad member losses a resounding success. Aerosol, Sharpstick, Gunwench and Raimondo all receive well-deserved promotions, while Frosty has a short stay in sickbay ahead of him. For Operation Soaring Spark, this is Commander Rain, out. <laughs>